All right, so we got some major new leaks coming straight from big games themselves about a few important things that are going to be in this next update for Pet Simulator 99. And while there are a few things that I would like to go over, there's a couple really important ones that we're going to talk about in this video that's going to affect the Pet Simulator market as a whole. I think it's only right that I sit next to this chest because with the new addition of the mastery system to Pet Simulator 99, we're going to see new perks coming that are going to change the way that we grind and the amount of items that we get. As you can see from this screenshot here, in the new Breakables Mastery, there's a couple new perks that we haven't seen before. As you guys can see, we have mini chest loot, better loot, and respawn. So all of these things are, are going to make drops even more common as well as just having breakable spawn even faster. All this stuff is going to combine together to make us grind even faster and drive inflation even further. If you watched the last video, you know that we need some diamond sinks in the new Pet Simulator update if we're going to stop this level of inflation that we've been seeing. If Big Games just keeps adding things that makes grinding even quicker, then we're just going to see prices soar and the ability for new players to catch up is just getting further and further away. At the time of making this video, Happy Rocks are 14.2 million rap right now. So it's already almost impossible for new free-to-play players to get huges. That's actually not the most important leak that we've seen so far either. As you can see here, the developer for big games, David, has leaked that there's going to be new charm removal items implemented into Pet Simulator 99. So we can only assume these are going to be pay to win, so you're going to have to buy them with either Robux or buy them off somebody who bought them with Robux. Big games could be nice as well and just have it as a regular drop from breakables, but I'm not sure how the odds are of that happening, so we'll see when the update actually comes. But either way, this is a big deal. Because if you've been in the trading plaza recently, you know there is a abundance of huges and even titanics with charms that just shouldn't be on there. Let's go to the trading plaza right now and let's see if we could find any of these huges with some misplaced charms. Alright, so the first lobby we loaded in, we could find something like this huge jelly corgi that just has a coins charm on it. One of 290 that exists, by the way, and somebody decided to put a coins charm. It's honestly so sad, but in this new update, this is actually not that bad bad because you can actually remove it another example right here a huge goblin with not only one but two coin charms on it this guy's still trying to sell it for 10 mil above wrap but that is ridiculous i don't know why people put these charms on their huges especially the rare ones these aren't even rocks people are putting these charms on these are rare huges that cost millions and millions of diamonds all right so we loaded in and we actually found this titanic that has a coins charm on it the person that owns this titanic could actually get this coins charm removed and the value of this would go up so much all right so just one more this titanic nightmare cat actually has like basically one of each charm on it but it also has a coins charm and the value of this would go up tremendously if they got this removed so this update is going to be big for people like this that have a bunch of huges that have misplaced charms as long as it's not too expensive to remove them this is a big update for a lot of people which actually brings me to the point of this video. I think it's actually a safe strategy now to go around and buy huges and titanics that have bad charms on them because you can actually now remove them in this new update, which is a huge deal. I'm sure a lot of people don't know about this leak, so they're probably going to be pricing their huges and titanics below wrap value because they have those not so good charms on them. If you're able to go and pick up those good deals, they're not that bad anymore because you might be able to remove them in this new update. As you guys can see, I have a ton of charms saved up. Not for any particular reason, i just been collecting them for a little bit. They're not that expensive, so there's not really even a reason for me to sell them at the moment except for this overload charm. I got this doing the magic shard method if you want to go watch that video. You're still very much able to do it and I had just gotten this last night from that so might be a good option for you if you're trying to make some diamonds before this new update. If it turns out to be really cheap to remove charms from your huges, I expect the price of all these lesser tier charms to go up a little bit maybe? The only reason I say that is because because nobody wants to place a lesser charm on their pet. So nobody's buying them right now. And that's why the price is just so dang cheap for all of them. 
As you guys can see, I have a bunch of huges that don't have full charm slots. When this new update comes around, I'm sure a lot more people will be applying these charms to their huges. We're probably going to see a decline in overall supply because people are actually going to be attaching them to their huges. I know a lot of people that don't have any charms on their huges at all just in case they want to sell them in the future and they don't want to lower the value. So all those people putting charms on their huges knowing they can remove them later is actually going to drive up the price of those charms themselves. This is just a theory though. Don't quote me on this. A lot can change. But yeah, that's my theory. So I, I think people are actually going to start using the lesser tier charms. So it's kind of a good deal. I like this update a lot. I just hope it isn't locked behind a paywall too hard. And regular people are going to be able to get them from drops and stuff like that. But basically the idea is that if the mastery stuff is as good as it looks, then we're, we're going to be seeing a lot of previously rare drops being dropped more common due to the increased luck chances from the breakables mastery. This is basically going to give people even more diamonds from grinding each night. Pumping an extreme amount of diamonds into the economy, which is probably going to drive up inflation a lot, which is a big problem right now. I have a whole separate video on that that I just uploaded not too long ago, so check that out if that interests you. But yeah, we basically just need a big diamond sink to be implemented into Pet Simulator 99 so that players have a way to spend their gems that's not just circulating into the economy. Because at the moment, we're just seeing way too much inflation because people are just earning so many diamonds. Especially with the Super Drops Game Pass that was recently buffed. That's giving out roughly five times more loot drops. People are just getting insanely rich right now and they have nothing to spend their diamonds on. So that's why we're seeing huge inflation with huges and exclusives and eggs and stuff like that. Another thing to mention, the chest mimic is probably going to keep going up in price and not fall after the clan event. This is because of that new mastery tree that I showed you earlier. Having those mini chest loot upgrades on it, people are going to want this so they can benefit from that mastery tree in full effect. So if you're watching and thought the chest mimic was going to go down in price and you were waiting to buy it when it does go down, you might want to rethink that because there is a strong possibility that, that this enchant stays expensive for a long time. But that's pretty much it. We also got this Ninjago looking ultimate. That's basically just going to help us grind areas even faster. This will probably contribute to inflation as well. So I guess we'll have to see you guys. Overall, it looks like a really cool update though, and I'm excited. I would just keep in mind that if you guys think inflation will happen, you're going to want to keep your diamonds invested in things like huges, exclusives, as well as the good enchantment books that are going to stay good for a while. By doing this, you're actually going to keep your diamonds protected from inflation because your items are going to go up in value with inflation. So it's really important that during times of big inflation that you don't just keep a ton of diamonds in your inventory. You want to spend them and invest in pets as much as possible. Remember to comment your Roblox username down below for the exclusive giveaway as well as join the Discord to potentially win 10 million diamonds for absolutely no cost to you at all. If you enjoyed this, please like the video as well as subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you guys so much and peace out.